Hey you guys, Michelle here. Uh, welcome back to the World of Vegan YouTube channel. If you're new here, I hope you will subscribe. Uh, I post videos every single week, like recipes, restaurant reviews, news, inspirational things, and beyond. Um, so yeah, don't miss out on all this fun footage. But today I'm gonna be talking about something that I have been meaning to make a video about for like years. But especially recently, uh, this has just been grinding on my nerves and I just got to get on here and talk about it. And that is the concept of being a perfect vegan. It's really about the exclusivity that many people are holding in their minds around the word vegan. That you can only be considered vegan if you're perfect at excluding all animal products, all cruelty and suffering from your whole life. And the first thing that I want to say is that there's no such thing as a perfect vegan. It doesn't exist. Not in today's world, sadly. If you have ever taken any medicine that's been tested on animals, if you wear contact lenses, those were tested on animals, if you wear shoes purchased at many stores, even if they don't have leather and they seem to be animal free, the glue is probably made from animal products. If you drive on the road, you're probably killing insects. If you have glass uh, windows, birds are probably flying into those. If you eat fruit and vegetables or any food grown in the earth, it's probably grown with cow or animal manure. Uh, or fish blood or bat guano or all sorts of animal products. If you have houseplants that you got at Home Depot or Trader Joe's, that soil is not vegan. Um, it is not possible right now to be 100% purist vegan, sadly. That's the goal, that's what we all want, right? Is to live in alignment with our values, but it would feel really good to know that no part of anything we were touching or participating in ever touched or harmed anyone else. That would feel amazing. Uh, and hopefully we'll get there one day, who knows? That would be amazing. I, I believe we're gonna getting closer and closer every day. But right now, um, yeah, I mean, if you wanna eat any food, if it's not grown veganically, it's grown with animal products. That's just the world that we're in. So, with that in mind, I hope that we can all be a little kinder to people and less judgmental, less vegan policey, trying to point out any little flaw that someone has in their quote unquote vegan lifestyle, um, because we can remember that none of us are perfect. None of us are there. We're all just doing the best we can with the resources that we have, um, the knowledge that we have, and we are all on different paths with that. It's hard to go vegan at first. It's easy to be vegan, but going vegan is a challenge. And I've known a lot of people recently who decided they wanted to go vegan. Yay! You guys know who you are. So exciting to hear something like that. And I am stoked. I don't expect, oh, they want to go vegan. They're starting to call themselves vegan. Oh my gosh, they you know accidentally ate soup made with bone broth they, their V card is taken away. Uh-uh, but they're getting that from people. People are leaving, just policing them and making it seem very, very difficult to go vegan. And before they've even gotten far along that path, they're turned so far off. Um, so I wanna just encourage everyone watching to be a positive example to set a great example, to be kind and understanding and supportive of people along their path, even if they're not perfectly there yet. Uh, a lot more people are gonna make it to vegan if they get support along the way, rather than fingers pointing out every little slip up or thing that they do wrong. Um, of course, it's possible to let someone know who you know is trying to be vegan. Hey, you might not have realized, you know, Jello actually isn't vegan, it contains gelatin, which a lot of people don't realize is made from animal skin and bone, so it's not even vegetarian. Uh, you would never guess. I used to think gelatin was was cool on the vegan train, but then, yeah, it's, it's not, so if, just letting you know. You know, you can let someone know, but when you're like, hey, I thought you were vegan and I just saw you eating jello, what's up, man? Uh, that's not a good feeling for the person who's trying to do better. It makes vegan seem impossible. That No one wants to sit there going about life, worried about any post they make on the internet being judged or chastised, worrying that someone's gonna see them eat something that they didn't even realize wasn't vegan. It's just not a comfortable place to be. And it turns a lot of people off that path toward vegan. 
who we're going to get there, who we're committed to get there. Our negativity and our policing is turning people away. There's no benefit to animals, to our environment, to our world of sitting on this pedestal saying, we're here, maybe it took you a day, maybe it took you five years to get there, probably closer to a few months at least, to get to the point where you're vegan, mostly vegan, 98%, as vegan as we can be. Consciously, every choice you make is, as far as you know, vegan. Sitting up there and pointing towards all the people who are trying to make steps in that direction, at all the little things that they're doing wrong. Oh, you ate a candy bar, now you're vegetarian, you're not vegan. Oh my gosh, you had a hot Cheeto, that's got dairy in it, you're not vegan. Don't even try and call yourself that because vegan is this exclusive club of people who are in the ethical elite who get it and who are more conscious than that. Like that doesn't help anyone. That's not helping more animals. What's gonna help more animals is being chilled out a bit first. Uh, welcoming, making vegan accessible and easy and fun. Focusing on how delicious and fun and beautiful the food is. How you don't have to sacrifice anything to be aligning your actions with your values and helping the planet and helping your own health. Like just focus on the positive and you're gonna attract so many more people to this lifestyle than you ever could by pointing out little flaws in people. Um, this word vegan It's not any of ours to claim, and it's also not any of ours to refuse someone to use it. Because there's no such thing as a perfect vegan, I mean, technically none of us can call ourselves that, right? Or if you're willing to accept, vegan is doing the best you can with the knowledge you have, in the situation you have, every choice just like trying to learn more and do better and be the best we can be in terms of not contributing to suffering, not using animal products. That is my definition of vegan, and that welcomes so many people. That welcomes anyone who's trying. And if they're not there yet, but they already identify as vegan, that's fine. They're, so they're gonna call themselves vegan. So they're gonna be working and as to get there sooner. Um, unless people are like, no, you can't call yourself vegan. You're not vegan enough. Like, get out of this exclusive club. Why? There's just no point in doing that and it, it just frankly it needs to stop. The the rude comments, the pointing out of flaws, the negativity, it's just it's bringing people down and it's sending people away. Whether it sends them to paleo or whatever, hardcore carnivore, wherever, or just vegetarian because that's a safer, people feel safer there. Uh, people aren't going to be judging them in the vegetarian field. Wherever it's sending them, it's sending them away. We wonder why so many people were vegan once and, and turned back. There's a lot of reasons, but the reason that I've been seeing come up again and again, I've been witnessing people on their vegan journey wanting to go and be vegan, turning away because they're just like, this community is not for me. It's cruel. It's negative. It's harsh. Uh, and... I, I want to live a happy life. People want to live a happy life and people want to feel good about the decisions they're making. And if we can encourage them along that path and be supportive and be open book resources leading by example where people feel that they can come to us and ask questions and ask for recipes and ask for guidance without feeling judged at all for the current decisions that they're making, which are likely not yet perfect, um, that is the way that we can make massive change. The majority of human beings on this planet are not gonna dedicate their lives to reducing suffering, sadly. I dedicate my life to that, and so I'm able to spend the majority of every day reading articles, creating content to help people, examining labels, shopping at three different grocery stores so I can get all the ingredients for the coolest new vegan recipe that's gonna taste amazing, trying all of the different vegan ice creams out there so I know which one tastes good. Like, I have a Whole Foods down the street, a Trader Joe's, a Sprouts. I have every grocery store I could imagine with the best vegan options within two miles of me. That is privilege. I'm privileged to be able to be super vegan. 
maybe 99.5% vegan, like really almost perfect vegan. I have that privilege because A, it's what I want. It's what makes me happy. So there's selfish interest there. B, it's convenient. I can afford it. I have, I have enough income. I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. I can try, like I can eat all these yummy vegan substitutes and everything's right around me. I'm in a really vegan friendly area. It's just easy for me. But for some people it's not. They don't live near a grocery store with great vegan options. They don't know what to eat. They haven't had the nutrition education or knowledge. Um, they might not have the funds to pay for, yeah, the fancier vegan food. Or they might just just slip up more. They might be in an area where they don't have anyone vegan around me. I have vegan community. More of my friends are vegan than not. I went to like, I've been to more vegan weddings than I've been to non-vegan weddings. Like my life is kind of ridiculous in terms of how privileged I am and how easy it is for me to be vegan. But we have to realize that not everyone's on that path. And you might be someone who is pretty close to perfect vegan even though you are living on a really tight budget, you don't have access to grocery stores, you don't have a community around you, none of your family is supportive, people give you shit about it all the time. And if you're doing that, that's freaking awesome. I applaud that and that's amazing and keep shining that light and leading by positive example because you're gonna inspire a lot more people to do the same. But for any of us to put that expectation on all of other, uh, all other humans and if they don't live up to that 99.9% .9 vegan perfection status, they can't even use the word is, it's, it's just not helpful. So guys, please stop, stop the policing, stop the judgment and start, start just shining light, being encouraging, being supportive. Being vegan is all about compassion, kindness, being considerate and not being hurtful to others. And that, to animals, that includes humans. Be kind to our fellow humans. Realize that everyone's on a different path. Everyone's had different experiences. Everyone's going through different struggles day to day. And just be kind, be kind. So that's how I'm gonna end this message. I know this is really long-winded and I didn't really plan anything I was gonna say. I just kind of felt like I needed to step on the camera. Um, if any of you guys watch Kalel on YouTube, she did a video recently saying that basically she's not calling herself vegan anymore because she eats, she ate a candy bar once in a whole year or something. And people are freaking out at her. Like, you can't say the word vegan. You're only vegetarian. You consciously ate something that had animal products in it. It just saddens me that we could feel that creating such rigidity around terms is going to make an impact because it's not. It might make you feel better if you were like, I'm perfect, you're not, you can't say that, go away, but it doesn't help the world. It doesn't help animals. It's not, that's not what's going to help. So. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helps maybe shift some thinking of some of you guys watching. Thank you for watching. Um, love you a lot. Sending you hugs through the computer if anyone's had a rough day. Sending you happiness. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.